Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of This Week in the Dunya. Inshallah I'll be covering the death of Abrar Fahad in Bangladesh. 20 extra moons being discovered around Saturn. And of course the controversial picture of Ellen DeGeneres and George W. Bush. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful. And so are we. They never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people. And neither do we. <laughs> Let's get started, yeah. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> I have received so many requests to cover this, it's unbelievable. Some of you are aware that in Bangladesh there are mass protests going on because of the murder of 21 year old Abrar Fahad. Abrar Fahad was a student of the prestigious BUET University and was killed by the student wing of the ruling party. Now here's the kicker, he was killed for sharing a critical Facebook post of a water sharing agreement between Bangladesh and India. Is this how weak the relationship between the two countries is that it hinges on one Facebook post of a 21 year old student and the people were so angry and so messed up in the head that an autopsy revealed that he was killed using blunt objects like bamboo sticks and wickets or god knows what else. May Allah bless this kid. Many people that we know pass away and even their own family member doesn't know till a week later. So the fact that this guy has passed away and it's causing a change within the country that's amazing and may Allah give us such deaths that will lead to the guidance of many other people. And second thing is I've got so much respect for students who are outspoken in politics whilst also having Islamic knowledge as well. Because let's face it a lot of the students nowadays are just being distracted by just money or technology. Alright guys let's move on to the second story. As I'm sure we know from primary slash secondary a science education, Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system and it's got the second largest amount of moons that are orbiting it yeah. But now scientists have discovered 20 extra moons that now puts it ahead of Jupiter who had the highest. What do we learn from this? Well let's face it in our daily life it's not really going to change much considering scientists are even saying there could possibly be a hundred other small moons. There's one important principle to take out here and that is science changes. First of all it's important to understand science explains the how, religion explains why. Now just because you understand how something works yeah how we were created or how we changed over time that's brilliant yeah well done science but that doesn't replace God. Like if you are able to tell me how a football comes to a stop, brilliant. That doesn't mean that the person kicking the football doesn't exist now. He's the one who set the ball rolling in motion. Similarly Allah has created everything, He set the ball rolling. Just because we understand how things work doesn't mean that He doesn't exist. So the point that I'm trying to Put across here is science continuously is changing. When I was in primary school they told me Pluto was a planet. Then they decided years later no nah, it doesn't get classed as a planet it's a dwarf planet. Well I mean a couple of years ago they said they discovered another planet in our solar system, planet X. Now they're saying they found more moons. God knows what they're going to say tomorrow. So those people the neo-atheists that are trying to put across this notion that science knows all and can solve all is absolute nonsense mate yeah because science by its definition continuously changes. And the last thing is the controversial image and footage of Ellen DeGeneres and the war criminal George W. Bush. Misunderestimate or excuse me underestimate. <laughs> because he, obviously he was the president when 9-11 happened and because of him he led his country into war using lies with the help of Tony Blair as well. There were no weapons of mass destruction mate and because of that a million minimum have died in Iraq and other countries, countless other countries have been invaded and their resources taken under the guise of the war on terror which has created more terror ironically. We have totally destabilized the Middle East, it's a disaster. 
one of the problems, not specifically on this issue, just in general, that, uh, that um, uh, let's put it this way, money trumps um, peace sometimes. <laughs> But just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean be kind to everyone. Hang on a minute, Ellen. Are you trying to say that applies to terrorists? People who have killed innocent people? Here's the thing. I'm friends with George Bush. In fact, I'm friends with a lot of people who don't share the same beliefs that I have. We're all different and I think that we've forgotten that that's okay that we're all different. You being spotted with him is an issue because people actually watch, respect you. You're a celebrity. You shouldn't be used as a pawn for war criminals just like Modi is doing in Bollywood and just like Trump is doing with Kanye West. And you're working hard to put food on your family. Alright guys, hope you guys benefited from this small news bulletin and let's leave it there until next time guys. Who could have possibly envisioned an, erection, an election in Iraq at this point in history? Salamu alaikum.